Like drinking beer at eight o'clock in the morning is not a problem. Yeah. Hey, here's the here's the secret to that. Uh -huh. You need to have a Belgian girlfriend because they drink beer for breakfast over there, so it's ah. acceptable. Smells real rich. Aaron needs smells a, like a dead truck. Aaron needs a chase team just to get the expo and back. It's two miles away. <laughs> Aaron, I love you. <laughs> Tell us you're about hard, that. You're a hardcore mother. Man. We can bust Aaron's balls because he's been busting our balls the entire time and you'll see it my video his video Everybody's video. It's, you'll see it. Hey, so is this thing still for sale? Because I know we have to push start it to get it going. You're not gonna do it in reverse, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm push. <laughs> push, push. Hey, uh, Aaron if we could just vlog the pushing process <laughs> This is the first. That's <laughs> <laughs> why you gotta have two miles from the venue. <laughs> What's happening guys? It's Sir William and today is day one of Overland Expo East and I'm pretty stoked about it. The only thing I'm not so stoked about is the fact that it's raining. But in true Expedition SEMA style overlanding, we're doing it in style. And here's the deal, whenever you overland like this, you draw a crowd with you of relatively cool people. So um, you got Rob Tabor, Hello right? There. Then you got this guy, Brandon. So, and uh, welcome to what now? To where I'm going. Look at this yeah. Fun time, man. Nice, man. This is awesome. <laughs> Guys. I didn't think they let people like you in. We are at the Expo East finally. It is a complete mud fest today, but it's gonna be fun no matter what. We're right now. First guy with rubber boots. First one. He's gonna be killing the game out here. When we first said, oh, we're gonna do this 30 day trip three years ago, two and a half years ago, we thought we, we, we kind of knew what we were doing. And we were like, at the end of that trip, it's like, we had no clue. And the second year we thought, oh man, we got this now. No. <laughs> and then this year we're like, oh, we got it. We got it. We got it better, but no, we're still not there. So it goes back to, I just wanted to say that the name of this seminar was My Perfect Truck. It's not perfect by any stretch of the So we still got a lot of work to do to make it more comfortable. And every time we go, we, you know, we learn something. Yeah. You know, like this year we learned that we need windshield wipers for this. <laughs> <laughs> this is more of a challenge. You know, yeah. it's, it's, it's more of a challenge to us to take a 50-year-old truck and, and make it into something that's able to work. We're still working. We're still, we're far from where we need to be. That is sweet. And you guys wanted to see some stuff on some power options, so... I don't. I, I can't find a better place than right here to start with some of the options that you have here at Expo East. So, um, introduce yourself. Tell us a little bit about you. Yeah. Good morning, everybody. My name's Craig from Red Arc Electronics. We're an Australian-based company. Been around for about 40 years. Uh, been here in the U.S. market for about two. And one of our expertise is power management. Uh, so, what I mean by that is, if you've got a house battery, also known as a secondary or auxiliary battery, uh, located maybe at the back of your vehicle or in a trailer to power a fridge, lights, maybe an inverter, TVs, coffee machines, and everything that people want to take on the road nowadays. We've got products like uh, these ones here, uh, which we call an in-vehicle battery charger, and it charges your uh, house battery to 100% state of charge. Uh, and it does that uh, by um, pulling its power from the vehicle start battery, and also from solar. Uh, so whilst you're driving, it's charging your vehicle's battery, uh, your, your house battery, and if you've got solar connected, it has built in an MPPT solar regulator, uh, which will uh, pull power from there first and uh, keep your house battery fully charged. So we have two different models available, a 25 and a 40 amp model. So again, they're high power DC to DC charges and uh, they're replenishing the loads that are coming off those batteries very quickly. So it's all about going off grid, you know, getting away from the powered campsites, uh, going up to the mountains, getting down to the beach, uh, getting away from uh, all people. the people that are it, it, that are at these populated campsites and being self-sufficient on battery power. That is sweet. So here's my question, because I'm interested in setting up solar in my own rig. I've got a little bit of a power situation that I've started. So yeah. I've got a deep cycle battery. I don't know if I want to do a house battery or not. But my question to you is, does this replace the solar controller as well? It does. Yes, yeah, so nice. inbuilt. In uh, it's all solid state relay, so 
you build it as an MPPT solar regulator. So Sweet. We, we call this feature green priority power. What that means is if you're uh, driving along and you've got uh, solar connected, maybe on the top of your uh, on top of your vehicle, your caravan, uh, it will pull as much power from solar first and then top up from the vehicle's start battery. Only while it's running. Well, only while the vehicle's running. In that yeah. Scenario. Yeah. Uh, but if you're at your if you're at your campsite, uh, the vehicle's ignition is off. Uh, you're not getting any charge through from uh, the vehicle start battery, it will continue to power and charge the uh, house battery from solar. Okay, great. So I don't need a solar controller anymore. Now, um, I noticed that you have the isolator. There's still a need for the isolator, right? Yeah, there is. It really depends on the application. So we typically recommend a battery isolator be used where you've got a, a second battery uh, under the hood of the vehicle. You know, okay. So close proximity to the vehicle start battery. Uh, usually you'll see uh, battery isolators used if you've got a winch, yep. uh, maybe in the front of the vehicle, mm -hmm. uh, and you can wire in an isolator so when you activate the winch, it connects the start and that second battery in, in parallel. Ah, this means it provides so you more double power, the power to those very hungry uh, electronics, winching, uh, winches that require high current draw. So that's interesting. So, okay, so my setup, I don't have a winch. Um, yep. My setup, and I think this is pretty common in, 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 the, in the community, most people just want to power a fridge, right? Yep. So realistically, a guy can get a 100 watt solar panel, he can get your in-vehicle charger here and a deep cycle battery, and now he's got a full-on off-grid solar setup to take them all around the world and never have to hook up, right? Ready to go. Yeah, yeah. Look, that's excellent. You've, you've, got, you've got two different types of products here. You've got your battery isolator. And look at most, they might get 60 to 70 percent sort of charge into your house battery. Mm -hmm. uh, whereas your in-vehicle battery charger gets 100 percent sort of charge, and it does that by boosting up voltage. Mm -hmm. So if you think about a house battery being located at the back of the vehicle or in a trailer, because of the long cable run between your start battery and your house battery, you get voltage drop. Drop, yeah. So this product will boost the voltage up. So you're still getting a full up. charge. Yeah, correct. And it applies a charging algorithm to suit the battery chemistry being charged. Versus just running a wire from the alternator back. Just connect your parallel. Yeah. Gotcha. And what's the what's the cost starting out on some of these? Obviously, there's different sizes and stuff like that. Yeah, so we've got a few different models. Yeah, we've got a 25 amp model, which has the, uh, the inbuilt solar, as well as the 40 amp. The 25 amp uh, runs at about $370 US, uh, whereas the 40 amp model runs at uh, about $430 US. Okay. So, yeah, not bad options. Well, hey, listen, I really appreciate you taking the time to talk to us. Thank Thanks you very much. Time. And where can they uh, where can they check you out at? Uh, RedArcElectronics.com. All right, excellent, man. Thank you. That is sweet. Check that out. It's a pretty good display of how to uh, set up your roof rack, huh? Some of the other videos I make mention of always looking for the perfect overland vehicle. And I really do truly think that a truck with a pop-up style camper like that would have to be my ultimate um, the ultimate vehicle for me no doubt i still really really like the nemo deals look at that sweet i'd be worried about laying my fat ass up build looks a little bit better than mine huh in my mind that's what mine was gonna look like that is crazy that is beautiful i love these clean and just well put together builds like this it's awesome you see the ground right just watch the dude literally rinse his shoes off why why would you rinse them off so these things are pretty cool you know i feel like you can pack this up in the space shuttle and roll on to the moon with it vaguely remember somebody doing a walk around on these things and the guy telling uh story about how they're very well insulated and whatnot all right guys so you've yeah. seen I was the, the uh was no closure isn't management and closure yeah. so isn't the answer and just, these are the guys behind it yet. but what's really cool is i was yeah. just talking to some of these guys and yeah. american I adventurous and offers a lot more than just a really cool well, packs, you know patch collection and sticker collection are. this is dave yeah. from american yeah. adventurous hi guys tell us a little bit dave just real quick about the community that you've got building up and everything like that so hi guys, I'm Dave Bennett with American Adventurist. Uh, we were founded in 2010, uh, basically to get people together to go camping uh, and to get out there and explore America. So we've got members in all 50 states. We're an online community. We're on Instagram, we're on Facebook. 
It's free to join. Come online, check us out. You'll see us at the Appalachian Rendezvous in North Carolina every year, uh, SoCal Mountain Rendezvous, and the Desert Rendezvous out of California, where for the last eight years, we've collected on average 3.7 tons of trash for the Bureau of Land Management. So we try to do something good to give back to the local community everywhere we go. We're not about making money off of our events or off of you. We try to put that back into the user base, into the community, everywhere we go. So check us out online. Uh, and if you want to learn what works and what doesn't, four wheel drives, camping, places to go, or just to hang out with cool people, that's what you'll find on American Adventures. That's sweet. And the good news is, is Dave and a good portion of, of the folks here at American Adventures are also in the military. That's why he's able to talk over the rain on his uh, on his deal here. So, hey, it was great meeting you, Dave. Hey, Thank you very much. Cheers. All right, I'll check Have you out. So I'm not an ARB locker expert by any means, but nor have I cracked the code to this one, but I have figured out that whenever you press the locker, see how it's moving freely? This plate moves over, does something in here, and causes it to not move freely anymore. Yeah, that's my expert analysis of the ARB locker. Yeah, so one of the cool things about uh, this event is the fact that they've got all these Colorados, and I'm really stoked about it, because as you guys know, I've done a little bit on the channel with the Colorado that I have, but there's absolutely no modifications. And uh, since how it is Christie's truck, she just gave me the final okay that we can start equipping this thing to take out instead of taking out Apple all the time. And I'm super stoked because they're starting to make stuff for it. So stay tuned for that. This is a cool one here. It's by CBI. Pretty nice setup. Cool little uh, bed rack here. Hold your rooftop temp. Right up here, you've got the Prinsu roof rack system. Pretty sweet. Yeah. I'd say you'd be able to hold up anything that you need to on the, the Prinsu system and all that. So pretty sweet setup. Colorado's are definitely a big thing this year, and I cannot wait to see all the other things that everybody's got to offer for Colorado's. Well, he's got something going on here. Oh, just upgraded sway bar. So Brandon's a, a Jeep guy, and he was telling me a little bit about the new JL, and you know, people are kind of coming out, but my theory on it, they've been making the Jeep for so long the same exact way. All these companies are just like, ah, he's built one thing for all these Jeeps. Yeah. And now they're like, uh-oh, now we got to change it, right? It's been out for almost a year, though. I mean, you would think that it would have something stuff out. Even at SEMA, there was like a lack of accessories for the, for the JL. That's crazy. We found the coolest ride here so far. Definitely. All right, so you might have seen these guys around Bold Overland, pretty popular folks. And you might have even seen this 4Runner. But what I have never seen is this. So just the work and suspension is nice but check out all the skid plate underneath there if you guys remember cole came up and handed me a sticker at the rooftop rent a tent rally and cole's actually his son they've got the rove uh tent uh, the rove trailers out here he now so i don't collect patches you guys don't you guys know this i don't collect patches but i do collect stickers and koozies and he's got probably the coolest koozie out there this thing has got a full-on neck strap yeah, brandon's too, right? modeling it for right. you and we we've got them for sale for 750 just hit me up and... <laughs> <laughs> all right so i'm here with dave from quigley off-road vans and i love vans these things are sweet he's here with the van do it folks and the van do it folks have a sales and leasing program but all the upfitting on all their vans comes from quigley this is dave from quigley um so a lot of folks get these express vans to go off-road because you know, they, they like the style. Um, they're obviously, the price factor is obviously a big thing. Now, what do you guys do to them? Well, we upfit them with a uh, four wheel drive system. Um, and this is, a, I think it's a 2017, has a 28 Duramax in it. So, so it's uh, diesel. It's diesel. It gets close to 20 miles per gallon. It's got the 2.8 diesel. Correct. That's the same one that's in the Colorado. Exactly. Yep. Same engine. Yep. Interesting. Yeah. So that's something new for me. So I've, I've obviously I've been interested in the Quigleys for a while. Yeah. When you guys do a package, you guys offer all that as an inclusive deal, or? Well, we're we're looking at branching out and making some uh, different components specific to vans, uh, just because there aren't a lot of, especially for off-road applications. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, there aren't a lot of options out there so yeah uh, you know we're looking to get into that market a little bit so uh, we've been working on some different projects we've got some uh, rock sliders here that we've we've done um, 
think it's two and a half inch tubular, but it's you know, strong, bomb proof. Yeah, and on the other side, it's uh, we've got it wrapped around all the urea and uh, def tanks, so they're all protected. Oh, all the skids are, yeah. are done. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. yeah, that's 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 an interesting point you bring up. Normally, on a diesel, the def tank would be hanging somewhere yeah, it's pretty exposed, yeah. and you've got it plated up. Yep, that's sweet. Yeah, definitely. And the big thing on this, uh, you know, all yeah. the fans of the Econoline vans, uh, this is built the same way, so it's body on, on frame. So it's a, yeah, built like a truck. Yep. Um, you know, the, the, Not like the, 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 the transit, the transits which the, is uh, a... Transits and sprinters are a unibody construction. Correct. So kind of like a crossover, right? Yeah. 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 So this, yeah. Is, this drives more like a truck. It's, it's beefy, it's burly. Um, yeah, we, we're big fans of it. Yeah, so I'm going to take one of these and put it through Moab. Will it do it? Oh, yeah. All day? All Every day? day. Yeah. So it full we'll on locking? Out there, uh, Easter Jeep Safari, so we'll be there in April. Nice. You offering test drives? <laughs> <laughs> if you come out, we'll see what we can do. That's right. So is it is full lock and transfer case? Uh, it is open in the front. Uh, open diff. Open diff. Case is you got a four high, four low, two high, all that. Yes. Okay. And uh, another big thing is uh, shift on the fly capability. Mm. You shift on the fly up to 50 miles an hour. Mm. Uh, so it's nice auto locking uh, hubs. So yep. You don't have to get out. You don't have to get out. Do nothing. Yep. And we talked about this the other night. These are also coming with the G80 rear lock locking differential. Correct. That's that's one option that we uh, recommend people customers to get when they're ordering their vans. Uh, you know that'll just help help the that's right of the four -wheel drive awesome yeah, definitely well man I'm, I'm super excited everybody can check you guys out at at quigley four by four check out these vans these vans are super sweet i love a van i think that it's probably the most practical vehicle out there especially for the off-roading overlanding all these different things nine times out of ten you're not going to put this thing through a trail that it's not going to be able to handle so take it out there have a good time and uh go glamping Appreciate you, Dave. Right on, brother. Thanks, man. Thank you. So one of my absolute favorites has got to be this International Scout right here. I'm a big fan of these International Scouts, the old K5 Blazer, stuff like that. But this one is absolutely just done right. I mean, just clean, super build. All right, guys, so we're here at the Sun Flare um, booth here. And I, I stopped here earlier and I took some uh, footage of the actual flexible solar panel. I know you guys wanted to see some of the electrical stuff here. And I'm, I'm here with one of the reps from Sun Flare. Go ahead going? and introduce yourself. So I'm Anders Hasselquist. I'm the solar engineer for Sun Flare Solar. Yeah. Sweet. And so right here, we came here for the expo because obviously it's a good opportunity. We are a CIGS panel company, not silicon. So what we do is split them on uh, stainless steel plates and we're able to make them 1.7 millimeters thin. And it weighs about 11 pounds. These are one of our uh, standard 6x11s, which is a 210 watt system. And we usually do 6x10s for commercial use, but we have the creativity to design different panels for what we need. And so what some of the benefits we have is besides the weight and the flexibility, it's very rugged to stainless steel. It can get hit, take damage, and it'll just kind of dent. It's not gonna crack. Uh, another big thing we have, unlike most panels are, is we have bypass diodes on every single cell. So most uh, panels only have them for a row or maybe the whole thing. So if one cell gets shaded, instead of the whole row going out, just that shell gets, say, it's shaded. So, so that, it's not string inverted. It's not string, yeah. So it's actually really good for camping in RVs because you're always in shade to a degree. So yep. I hear a lot of complaints where, like, you know, they say it's 180 watts, but people, realistically, you get enough shade and you never get the output that you need. So what size do these come in? So these ones are the 210s and they're about uh, three and a half feet by about six feet. And this is 210 watts. 210 water. And usually we do uh, six by 10s instead of six by 11s and they're 185 watts. Okay. But we can go as small, this is a 36 watt. And this is what we used on the vehicle over there. On the, which one? On this, so on top of there, there's actually 10 sections of on, these. On top of the search and rescue? Correct. Okay, Correct. and there's 10 of those. 10 of these, so it's a total of 360 watts on there. Okay, and so those are 36 watts. Now, a guy that's setting up his rig that just wants to power his fridge whenever he goes off-road um, and keep his battery, you know, charged up, what kind of panel does he need? Um, well, that, you know, obviously would depend on somewhat to his storage to make sure he's got enough, but probably a two of our 65 watts is what we use for a, a vestibule, one of the companies we work for. And it's a, you know, a small, you know, the 12 volt fridge, but yeah, the two of those work pretty well with a 225 amp hour battery. Sweet, man. Well, this is a really cool setup. Where can everybody check you out at Sunflare? Sunflaresolar.com and uh, we're kind of coming up and making the scenes, so we're pretty excited about this though. That's sweet, man. Hey, look, it was really nice meeting yeah, you. Thank you. Thank you for showing us around. 
Okay, so one thing he just turned me on to was about these panels is the way they have this deal set up, and it's very interesting, it's on this search and rescue vehicle, they put these panels. The reason that they have 10 of those modular panels is because when they put the bags on top of it, they can take those panels off, put the put the panel on top of the bag. They, or they store them in the front. So this or they store them in the front. Stuck, uh, store with other things. That's awesome. And so, you know, he'll get starts at 360 watts and go more, less as he takes off more. And then once you're done, take the bags out, put them all back. So he's able to do long term now. He's in Seattle, Washington, so they got a lot of snow, a lot of rain, a lot of mud. So he'll go guard the crew of eight people now and make sure all the radio, GPS, and everything works. That's nice. And once you once you go with these solar setups, I mean, you're you're off grid, right? You yeah. don't, you don't oh, need yeah. anything else. Right. And so that's all that. You can just untwist them, use an MC4 disconnect, unplug them. That's sweet. Out of there. Wait, open that back up. You got a secret stash here, man. Yeah. Look at this. True Overlanders have ice cream they bring with them. Frosty Paul. Indeed. <laughs> you didn't see this one, did you? No, uh-uh. What we got? It's beer. Nice. <laughs> so I'm here at the Snowmaster booth, and uh, we're going to talk to him a little bit about these Snowmaster fridges. So here's the thing. So if you guys follow the channel, you know that I spent uh, less money on my fridge and I didn't choose to go with one of the higher end options and I'm somewhat dissatisfied with my fridge for a couple reasons. One, I was just telling them that it's got an overheating problem whenever the compressor gets too hot, cuts off, now you don't know because it also doesn't have any kind of alarm or anything like that. The Snowmaster guys have been taking me through their, uh, their fridge, so tell me a little bit um, here about what we got. So we've got a couple different options with Snowmaster. You've got the traditional one, one lid option, one zone, then you can move over here to a dual zone, which actually has two different zones that you can segment out Freezer. how you'd like. Yeah, so you can get ice cream on the trail because yeah, you gotta you get have ice that. Cream on the trail, um, and you can make that on either side. So you can do fridge or freezer, yeah. freezer or fridge, however you want to set it. It's totally up to you. Okay, cool. Um, also, it's a fully stainless steel construction. It's got LEDs built in, so you can see what you're looking for at night. Food grade seals, which are actually replaceable, which is a rarity in this world. Oh. Then you can see you got all your controls and everything down here. You got the industrial strength stainless yeah. steel handles for that you can use for mounting as well as for carrying. And uh, other than that, it's got so a it's five built. Year warranty. It's solid. It, oh, it's got a five year warranty. Five year warranty, and that's on the compressor and everything. Nice. So it tell me. That, this thing comes with a, um, obviously it comes with a 12 volt, Correct. right? Comes with both, it's, both of them. Actually, it comes with the 12 volt and the, uh, the house charging as well. Okay, so you can charge. So I can take it in a hotel Absolutely. if I want to. Absolutely. And it's got a battery meter, which is nice. And they told me all I need to do is hook up a 100 watt solar panel to it. Now, tell me about the remote. So the remote, basically, will do two, to, uh, quite a few different things actually. So it tells you if you have a dual zone, it tells you what the temperature is in each zone. Nice. It also allows you to change that. So you can change it by hitting it up and down, basic basic operations in a t traditional remote. And it also tells you uh, the actual voltage that it's currently at. You can turn the fridge and freezer on and off. You can use it as a torch light. Actually has a backlit as well. And you can adjust the speed of the actual compressor because it is a two-speed compressor. It has a low and a high, and actually it has an automatic adjustment as well. So not only does that offer you better efficiency, but you're not you're not overdoing it whenever you don't need to. Correct. Yeah, and I, I would prefer to use the automatic feature because uh -huh. it's really good. It'll at regulate it itself. Absolutely. Yeah. And this has an alarm on it. So if um, so, the the problem that I'm having with my cheaper competitor is that compressor overheating, and whenever it turns off, there's no way of knowing that you spoiled all your food until you get Correct. sick off of eating it. This, this has got an alarm. This has an alarm on it, and you can actually set it even from the remote. So you'll see once the bottom starts flashing. So I have it set mm -hmm. for 10.7 for my truck, which is over there. And, and now it, there's three different it's a cutoff, there, so right? It's a complete cutoff. Complete we'll cutoff. That's right. Absolutely. So to cut the fridge off, so what that's for is to cut the fridge off so that way you don't drain your battery so you can still start and get, get the hell out of Dodge. Every vehicle's yeah. different, so that's why we give you the different adjustable yep. adjustments. Yeah, I think I leave mine on a, a medium setting or something like yeah. that. I've got a deep cell battery. So. Yeah. Um, what what technology is that using? Is that like a Bluetooth technology, a Wi-Fi technology? Just a, 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 what? How how does that remote work? Do uh, I need to is, be connected? It or? is Bluetooth related. Bluetooth. Okay. Yeah. So it, it actually has solar oh, on the back. Oh, sweet. So that's how you charge it. Okay. And uh, literally the charge lasts forever. I think I charged this probably three or four months ago. Yeah. And uh, it's been it's easy. Got an on and off button to shut it off when you don't need it. 
automatically connects because it's serial number driven. Yeah. So it connects with the fridge automatically and turns right back on. So I don't have to link this thing. I don't have nope. to do none of that. As soon as you pull it out and plug it up, it automatically connects to it. Sweet. What can I get into one of these Snowmaster fridges, the small one, uh, just starting out at? Um, I, I tell you, the average price for Snowmaster is probably going to be around uh, 11 to 1200 yeah. um, Partly There's not a whole lot of variance in price in between the large and the small because they're using very similar compressors, they're using very similar sizing, and it's all of the same stainless steel construction. So listen, I, I'm still here in the Snowmaster, and it just so happens I've been blessed with a legend. And let me tell you why I think this guy is a legend. The reason I think this guy is a legend because he brought a very, very, very common item into the States and uh, kind of got shitted on the deal. So tell us a little bit about what you have, Mr. Casey. Hey everybody, my name's Casey. We're desert racers. We love overlanding, we love camping, we love getting money, we love getting off the track. And these are our American made, 100% US American made action tracks. Available at usactiontracks.com. They're twice as durable, 100% American made, and less expensive to the customer. So get some if you're gonna get stuck. In the meantime, you know, have some fun. Get out there, get dirty. Yeah. Oh, and one other thing I wanna say is that the car was patented in 1908 and the first recovery track was patented in 1912 in the United States. So this is an American invention, everybody. What's up, peace, over there Expo 19, 2018. Later. Nice. That's what's up, check them out. These are cool tracks, um, great stuff. Obviously you see his is, is built right. I mean, yeah, pretty cool, man. That's all two kids. So Casey's explaining a little bit about what I touched on is is how he brought um, he brought a set of commonly used traction boards Baja 1000 to the Baja 1000. It was uh, 2012, I believe. 2012. 2012. Uh, we had gotten uh, uh, stuck in a qualifying race leading up to it, and uh, we needed something better than the format, so we found a small uh, a small company in Australia making a nice product. We brought it, and uh, the market. Uh, you know, it was really funny for a long time. We stood around with our uh, with our <laughs> boards, and no one no one believed they worked. No one wanted them. No one ever thought they. I were was priced. one of those persons. Yeah, yeah, and you know, to see them everywhere now is you know amazing. And, and even though it, it's been a, a a tough route building our own product, and there's been a it's not you know. A, it's not without its hardships, um, but uh, it's beautiful to see that our last round of hard work. Uh, yeah, well, that's sweet, man. Um, it, it, how much do your board start? Two fifty. Yeah. Plus discounts, and we do yeah. sponsor people. We uh, we really try to encourage uh, interaction with the yeah. community. I don't know. I think it said we look good on Apple. I mean, you know. <laughs> so hey, check out the 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 one little patch of grass. This is all mud. First patch right there second patch right there the only patches of grass in the entire thing at this point it's crazy oh but i did upgrade huh i want to send a huge shout out to this dude right here and the reason is is because he hooked me up with a pair of these boots oh yeah from walmart <laughs> whenever he, have. yeah this is this is looking out for the homies because all he did was send a text message i was like boots i need boots and he hooked them up, so yeah. You Appreciate you, check it out, Revere Overland. Do it! All right, so I'm here with Brent, and we're at the Tecton booth, and he makes some tool pouches. It was pretty cool, because I, I just helped your partner here walk down the hill. That's right. Thanks. Yeah, so she, she was struggling, not struggling at all, but I, I felt bad if I just watched her walk down the hill with a pail of water. But anyway, so I come across these tool bags. We, we exchanged some ideas and stuff. Tell us about your tools though, Brent. All right, Tecton, we're a, we're a company up in Grand Rapids, Michigan. We are control of our own brand and our own, com our own company. We uh, have a full line of wrenches, everything you can imagine, everything you can think of in wrenches we have. Stubby sets, we have combination stubbies, we have ratcheting stubbies, we have flex head ratcheting, stubbies we have combination wrench sets our wrench sets this is a 15 piece wrench set no skips 8 millimeter to 22 millimeter everything you got even 11 millimeters in there so we got full line we got metric we have metric standard we also have all the way up to these bad dogs right here flex head big inch goes from 5 16 to 1 inch no skips all right everything you need for your overland off-road action we have it we have it for you we have full line of sockets ratchets a ratchet 90 tooth flex head half inch and the uh, best prices you're going to find anywhere you go to overland forward slash overland and you'll see every tool that we have here at the expo this year and we have it all there for you ready to go we have swivel head ratchets right here these come in handy 
I am a off-roader, so I use all these tools when I'm off overlanding. So all these tools come in handy. They've all been tried and tried and true. We have socket rails, domestic, USA made, for all our sockets. We have full line sockets, impact, chrome vanadium, anything, any socket you need, we have it. It's on the website, check us out, techman.com. What's we the warranty? Warranty, lifetime warranty. That's sweet. 100%, always That's guaranteed. Sweet. That's what we're known for. All right, anything you need. We got nut drivers. These are domestic, USA made. We're out of Grand Rapids, Michigan. And it's a 10 millimeter, which everybody's always I looking know, for. I know, I gotta keep my eye on that. <laughs> Many people are like, oh, this is really cool. I'm just kidding, yeah. I'm not trying to steal it yet. But uh, I keep my eye on it. Full set of screwdrivers, everything you need. We have screwdrivers. These are all USA made, 100%. We have full line of pliers, everything you need here. We have slip joints, we have long nose, we have long nose bent. These come in very handy use them mini pliers full set of mini pliers for example this set here is like 24 bucks good to go that's so sweet we have lineman pliers needle nose nippers this set here is a six piece locking pliers all just been reworked done functionality perfect everything that's is awesome. awesome you're not going to find a better set this is a six piece set it's like 55 bucks cross peen hammers everybody asks me what the heck we use these for well, if you go off-roading and overlanding, if you get stuck, you bend a fender or whatever, this will get you in, knock it Dust off. guards, go. yeah. Yep, dust guards. Yeah, Skid sweet. Plates. Skid plates. Sweet. I've used it myself. Uh, so, yeah, everything we need, everything you need on C-clamps, you're doing brake jobs out on the trail, you're going to need a C-clamp. Yep, push those rotors, but yeah. Everything you need for overland, off-road travel, we have it at techman.com, and we're looking to equip people. To do their pat to have their passion to, to experience the overland life. that is sweet yeah and so what i was telling them is that i really like is these tool rolls are uh they're very nifty because i have a set that is very similar to his 84 piece set right there um and it just takes up a lot of room guys and if you could just if you could set these tool bar, if you could set these tool rolls up, you can get one of these tool rolls from these guys, and they're and they're empty, so you can put whatever tools that you want to put in there, or you can get a full wrench set like this one that you see right here. Mm -hmm. and just good quality tools. There's a couple things you don't want to cheap on whenever you're off road and you're dependent on your vehicle for vehicle dependent travel. One of them is your tires. The second one is going to be your tools. So check these guys out. It's Tecton.com, and uh, yeah, tell them Sir William Go sent you. All right, guys. So we are here, and we are at the spot. The, the spot booth and I saw one of these the other day and I'm with Alyssa and it's Tampa fly girl yeah and the reason is because she's a fly fishing guide go check her out she's on Instagram do all that but what I'm interested in is hearing what she's got to offer which is basically whenever you're out and you're overlanding you're 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 off grid and all these things you need a way to reach the people that are gonna send out search parties to look for you if you don't so check it out Wow so tell me about it. Sure. So this is our satellite communication device. Uh, our direct competition would basically be the Garmin inReach. Uh, we're a little different than them. We own our own satellite constellation. It's called the Global Star Constellation. Our device is also a little bit cheaper. So we're at about $250, so about $200 less than the inReach. Uh, in addition to that, we are a standalone unit. So you do not have to link to your cell phone. That's one less thing that you have to keep charged. It is all done right here on this QWERTY keyboard. So you can type, you can text, you can uh, you can check in. You can also track. You get two and a half, five, ten, thirty, and sixty minute track points with our unlimited plan. Our unlimited plan is three hundred and sixty dollars for the year, or twenty nine ninety five a month, depending on how you want to break it down. In addition to that, we have a built in lithium battery. It is uh, good for about two thousand pings or about two hundred and forty hours of screen time. If you use your backlight a lot or you're in very thick cover, your battery may not last as long. It just depends on if it can see the sky well. Sweet. Uh, other than that, we do offer flex plans as well. So if you just want to turn it on for a month or so, turn it off. It's also an option as well. So yeah, check them out. Findmespot.com, Spot X. It was released in April of 2018. Sweet. So yeah, definitely. Thanks. So one of the cool things that I liked about this was, um, and one of my key questions was the fact that, is there a way that I can, if I want to buy this thing, I only go on one month expeditions at a time. So mm -hmm. I don't need full service for the whole entire year. Yeah, absolutely. So I can just, I got plans and all this different things that you guys have. I can turn it on for just a month. I mm -hmm. can turn it on. And what's my lowest plan starting at? The lowest plan, if you wanted to talk cheapest, is going to be our basic plan it gets you 20 text messages uh, 10 30 and 60 minute track points 
And that's going to be $11.95 a month on the annual contract. So that's $11.95 a month for 12 months. Mm -hmm. If you wanted to do the cheapest flex plan, which also gets you 20 text messages, and again, the 10, 30, and 60 minute, um, that's going to be $14.95. Now, with both of those basic plans, while you only get a certain number of custom messages, you do get unlimited SOS, so you can hit search and rescue as much as you want. You do get unlimited check-ins, so you can check in as much as you want, and you get unlimited predefined messages as well. Sweet. Well, hey, look, it was really nice meeting you. Very nice Thank you a lot. And check out uh, findmespot.com for more information on the spot. Hey guys, so I'm at the RIP Superchargers real quick. Um, they just launched a new thing that I wanted to touch on is the fact that they just launched the Supercharger 4, the Colorado. He's not super, super, super familiar because it is brand new, so we're going to talk to him a little bit later about it. But just know, these guys offer something like that for Colorado. So the one thing he just turned me on to is the fact that they also make these coil packs for, this is for a Jeep, I assume, but they also make them for Toyotas and it adds about 25 horsepower just for this right here. So pretty cool. Check out these guys, man. It's ripped superchargers.